the boys stood up and walked perfectly and the parents father and mother they were so happy that our son got well walking like all the growing developing sons welcome to the heavenly arena where we bring you holy ghost inspired and heavenly curated sermons this short excerpt is going to reactivate your faith and draw you closer to god please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on facebook for more heavenly materials god bless you and there was a crusade and a family went to that crusade the boy the son had been totally paralyzed and in that crusade proclamation was made and performance was done the boys stood up and walked perfectly and the parents father and mother they were so happy that our son got well walking like all the growing developing sons but they didn't understand how that healing how that miracle came they went back home and then they called friends and they celebrated and they praised their idols and their idol they put in the sitting room there and they were singing they were happy and joyful giving praise to their idol immediately the boy became paralyzed again they did not abstain from evil idolatry is evil all those traditional things and write some things on sign and they say they are kind uh, trying to you know divine for you that's evil when the lord has healed you abstain from all appearance of evil anything near idolatry anything near the worship of Satan, anything near all those uh, dark powers that you are giving yourself to before you repent of them, abstain from all appearance of evil. Amen. Amen. The God, the idol you are hanging on the neck, you throw them away. The one you arch those beads that symbolize the idols, the tradition you have, you throw them away. The waistbands, you throw them away because you abstain from every appearance of evil. All those books you have in the house that, you know, uh, they're related with all the evil all the idolatry you discard them and all the magical things you use everything you discard them and the group the gang you belong to and you are you know pouring libation and taking blood and all that when you come and you give your life to christ and christ makes the difference in your life all those things you abandon them and you come away from that gang somebody shout amen. amen look at verse 23 in verse 23 it says and the god of peace when you have salvation he gives you peace the god of peace peace between you and god that now if you leave this world you will not perish but because you have been reconciled with God, the God of peace, sanctify you wholly, purify you wholly, cleanse you completely. And I pray that your whole spirit, you see that, and soul and body. You see, we have the three parts in our personality, we have the body and the body has sickness cancer for the body ulcer for the body blindness for the body deafness for the body and things walking around in the body it says number one he heals us from 
all those evil things in the body and then uh, he talks about the soul the depression that's the soul and the stress that's in the soul and all the anxiety and the worry that is in the soul the sadness and unhappiness that is in the soul if the lord heals our body but our soul is still depressed our soul is still anxious our soul is still under stress our soul is on the inside being eaten up by all those negative emotions it will come back to the body because the mind the soul affects the body when the soul is sad the hand is weak when the mind is lost the body too will follow that's why it touches a body it transforms our soul and then he talks about the spirit the spirit at the center of the man is a spirit by which we contact God a body will contact the world and the soul stands in between when the soul is unhappy and your spirit says rise up the soul says no I don't feel like standing up I'm sad I'm sorrowful something has happened that has not led my mind and the soul cannot give instruction to the body get up because once the heart the spirit has not been made whole the soul has not been made whole and the body too even if the body gets healed the body will be affected eventually that's why he gives us healing for the body he gives us happiness for the soul he gives us holiness for the spirit and when they all come together body soul and spirit healing happiness and holiness that the wholeness you'll have the wholeness tonight i will have the wholeness tonight in jesus name and then he tells us in verse 24 he says faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it it will save your soul it will heal your body it will sanctify your spirit amen because faithful is he faithful is he that calleth you he calls you to salvation faithful is he that calleth you he calls you to healing faithful is he that calleth you he calls you to sanctification calls you to holiness calls you to a new bright snowy character faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it come to point number two now point number two is plenty of supply through faithfulness in commitment he gives us plenty of supply we're looking at philippians chapter 4 and i read here from verse 19 philippians chapter 4 we're reading from verse 19 it says but my god shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by christ jesus <clears throat> amen my god when you come to christ you become a child of god because he says come out from among them and be separate says the lord you're separate from all the sin partners of the past you caught the cord you caught the chain you caught the link with all the same partners you have urged before you came to the lord and when you caught that cord when you break that chain when you remove the yoke that has kept you together then he says and come out from among them and be separate says the lord then he says i will 
receive you.